it is an all about ADA flat paved trail. If you keep pushing and the chair keeps going forward, then just take it as far as you can go. This would be one heck of an accomplishment for him. Going across the Sierras, be incredible. Going from the east side of the Sierras, over the crest, through the highest part of the Sierras, and into Road's End at Kings Canyon. Over all these rocks, you're probably going to be gaining over a thousand vertical feet a day. That's a killer to be climbing over rocks in a wheelchair. I've never seen such an effort in my life. Being in a wheelchair isn't always the end of everything. If you can get people out there and encourage people to get out, get walking, get involved with their own fitness, their own health, even in a wheelchair, even in a power chair, even with serious challenges, there are lots of things you can do. I had to start that way after I was sick. I mean, it didn't come all of a sudden. I went into a wheelchair and doing 14,000 foot mountains. When you're a type one diabetic, your kidneys are in real danger if you don't take care of them. My blood sugar is so high right now, it is very difficult to move forward. That's when you start going into the diabetic coma side rather than the low blood sugar thing. He's got a daughter and grandchildren and I'm like, family comes first and the mountain comes second. The mountain isn't going to bring you chicken soup when you're not feeling good. They pay me to come move the rocks out of your way. Wow. I'm trying to outrun age, I'm trying to outrun diabetes, I'm trying to outrun all these things by continuing to do all these crazy things up in the mountains. Instead of just saying there's no way I can do it, get out there and at least try it. That's where you find the really good stuff, digging a little deeper when you don't think you can. <laughs>